I wanted to share a few of my thoughts about uh, Spencer Eldrin, this young man. I guess he's still fairly young. He just turned 30, apparently. Uh, opting to sue the, the rock band Nirvana over the cover, the famous uh, iconic cover of the album Nevermind. Spencer Eldrin was the was the baby featured on that cover. Um, and uh, you probably already know this, but the cover depicts a child, a, a small uh, baby boy, in a swimming pool, uh, reaching out, reaching out for a dollar bill, which is uh, on a hook. Um, now, it's a pretty arresting image. It's an interesting image, artistically speaking, as far as what it, you know, what it's sort of seeming to say about uh, the nature of, uh, you know, humanity <clears throat> always chasing wealth, uh, even from, uh, from infancy and whatnot. Um, the, the thing that, that's always been a, a little uncomfortable for people uh, about that cover is uh, the fact that the boy is naked and uh, his penis is clearly visible. Um, and uh, this was, you know, whether, whether whatever you th whatever you think about this, whatever you you know, and, and I I got to say I never thought of it as exploitative. Uh, I never thought of it as child pornography. But that is exactly what Spencer Eldrin, the former Nirvana uh, album cover baby boy, uh, is that is precisely what he's suing the band for now. Thirty years later, uh, he's uh, claiming that they uh, they used this image of him in an exploitative way, and uh, believe the, the the charges are. Uh, child pornography. Now, um, there's some other ancillary things that are attached to this main charge that uh, that he makes uh, in this suit, uh, which don't seem to be related to the child pornography charge, uh, uh, but uh, maybe still relate somewhat to the to the uh, notion of exploitation. Uh, or uh, unfair uh, use use of uh, this image. Um, what he claims is that uh, there should have been greater compensation. Uh, that apparently, when this when this picture was taken, uh, uh, the father of uh, Spencer uh, knew this guy who was a photographer. Who paid him two hundred dollars to take this picture of uh, his then four-year-old, four-month-old uh, four son, um, and then uh, paid him, you know, just sort of a pittance for it, two hundred dollars. Of course, uh, that album went on to sell millions and millions and millions and millions of copies, and uh, the family never saw, never got any kind of compensation for it. Um, I don't know whether, uh, how, what the recourse is there, legally speaking. I mean, maybe it was kind of a dickish thing to do, no pun intended, uh, to, uh, to just, uh, I don't know, take, take this, take this shot and, and, uh, and pay this, this, uh, this family off and then, go on and use this image uh, in a way and never uh, you know never say anything about it again to the family uh, never never uh, give the family any slice of the pie uh, after that uh, I, I can see where there could be some you know some complaint made about that but I imagine it's all it's all in uh, you know uh, in legal standing um, so I don't know what, what really 
you know, it, again, it's it's probably a shysterish shyst, shysterish thing to have done, but it's it's uh, it's probably not anything that they have any legal recourse about. The child pornography charge. Uh, well, that's that's interesting. Um, it's it's interesting to to go that route. Now, I, I know that a lot of a lot of people are just sort of saying, are being dismissive of of this entire suit, and are, are saying that you know, ironically enough, the baby boy who was chasing the dollar, uh, reaching out for the dollar, and that on that album cover is now reaching out for the almighty dollar by. Uh, 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 filing this suit, I can't remember the exact amount of damages that he's he's asking for, but it's a lot, and he's suing all the surviving members of Nirvana uh, and uh, and everyone else affiliated with with the band. Um, but what I I can uh, I, I know that there are people who are dismissive of this whole thing, um, and I don't know whether the the child pornography. Uh, thing really works uh, you know as uncomfortable as it is that this is a full frontal shot of a child um, I, I don't think it's an eroticized uh, uh, shot of, uh, of this uh, this child then again you know perverts who are into uh, little children probably find it erotic but but you can't really help uh, what any little, I mean, every, there's going to be a ton of subgroups of people who are going to get turned on by the, by the most heinous and disgusting of, of things. And I mean, what can you really do about that? There, the, I mean, any picture of any child, uh, will, will uh, looking somewhat cute will, uh, will do, will do that for, you know, pedophiles out there. But I, there are there are things to consider here um, that I think that I think are worthy of talking about. First of all, I can't help but uh, note that uh, this this uh, that Nirvana was under a uh, subsidiary when they when they uh, came up with when they uh, produced Nevermind uh, and or, or when they when they put it out. And it became this huge hit. Uh, they were under a subsidiary of Geffen, and David Geffen. I mean, he's uh, he's he's a perv, and he's he's among the 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 the, uh, the pedocracy. Uh, I think it's it's fair to say. Now, is he is he into uh, four month old boys? No, but he does seem to like underage boys, um, according, according to, uh, stories that I have heard, uh, and, uh, that doesn't seem to be unusual amongst bigwigs and, uh, and, uh, movers and shakers and executives in the entertainment industry, including in Hollywood. So, uh, you know, Geffen, the, the involvement of Geffen in all of this really, to me, uh, kind of uh, casts a pall over everything. Um, also, I would say when I've heard this this uh, this young man uh, Spencer Eldrin, when I've heard him talk uh, in in interviews a few times, uh, and, and I only this this is a sort of freshly breaking breaking story, and so I was I was curious to see. Uh, <clears throat> what was out there uh, so far? Not much is out there yet, but um, it seems that he's uh, had a difficult time dealing with the fact that he's, uh, you know, he's he's uh, on display for everybody to see without him, without his knowledge, without his permission. Um, he there are a couple of interviews where he talks about. Uh, going to being at a, a, a major league baseball game, a Dodger game, and looking out, out at the stadium and thinking to himself, "All of these people probably saw my baby penis." Um, you know, all these strangers around the world saw my baby penis, and he and he sounded, uh, you know, not happy about that. 
um, like it was a violation. And I can understand that. I get that. Uh, um, supposedly, the 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 band or whoever was distributing the album was originally going to cover up the the genitalia, uh, but they supposedly reneged on that. That's what the suit alleges. You know, it's strange because I hadn't really ever thought about this this whole issue, this whole notion prior to the suit being filed. But um, but now I kind of see this guy's point. Um, I don't know whether he deserves uh, X amount in damages for emotional distress and, and all of that. I mean, some of that might just be uh, uh, overkill. Probably is. But I can see where he has a point in, uh, in filing this suit. Now, other, you know, people who are attacking him also are saying, well, look, he, he was having fun with this image. He, he was, po he, he posed, uh, as a 20, 20 year old or something. Uh, he, he, he repeated the pose in the swimming pool. Uh, so he must be, and he's talked about it before. He's, he's, he sort of sold himself as the guy, the, the kid on the cover before. So he's, he's tried to cash in on it. Uh, and so they're saying now he's, he's being a hypocrite because he, he enjoyed, uh, being the Nirvana baby for a while. And now, uh, and now he's, he's changed, changed his tune just opportunistically, but I don't know. I can see, I can see trying to deal with this situation of, of having been exposed to the world uh, without your per permission, I can see dealing with that by doing the things that he did, by trying to, to embrace it, by trying to, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, even, even uh, trying to own it in some way, you know, trying to, to get a handle on it. Uh, and also, I don't think any of this can be discussed in uh, in in the absence of discussing the fact that, and I, and I spoke of this a little bit earlier with my my references to David Geffen and his his sick ilk. Um, you know, the the fact that child exploitation is so so rampant uh, in the entertainment industry um, that. I don't. I don't know that we can just we can just see this whole thing uh, and just totally put all that to the side. I don't think we can. Um, does that mean that I think that this this guy? I was going to call him a kid, but he's not not really a kid any longer. He's he's thirty years old. Does that mean that he should should get all this money uh, from the band? I don't. I don't think he's necessarily entitled to the money. Um, but uh, but there there is some bigger issue here. I think that that is worth talking about, worth addressing. Um, a few other thoughts just for, just to wrap up. And I know this is this has been kind of a scattershot uh, 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 monologue here. But I, I think about the the fact that he was a, a child that he was four months old and that he's face down in a swimming pool and I know people say I've heard people say well there was this wasn't unsafe they weren't he wasn't going to drown for for this reason or for that reason I, I don't know maybe it was totally safe uh, the way it was done but uh, if I had a four month old and somebody wanted to photograph him underwater wanted to, to, to put him in the in water and, and photograph him there I don't I don't think I'd want that I, I'd want to have that happen I, I, I don't think I could be talked into saying yeah we'll, we'll just take your kid and submerge him in water he'll be fine uh, we're just gonna take this uh, cute picture of him uh, you know with completely nude uh, reaching for a dollar bill it'll be very artsy um, you know I I, I don't there, there's something about that in and of itself that that's just a little uh, that, that that that's a little unsettling, um, and maybe that's part of what makes the image so powerful. 
uh, in and of itself is the fact that there, there's there's like this this element of peril to it. You know, they could have just showed a child on dry land just reaching out for a dollar bill, and there wouldn't have been any any element of, of uh, peril or danger to it. But the fact that it's underwater, uh, again, why why do they have to f- film this un- this uh, this shot underwater? What was the the reason for that? Um, anyway, all these things come to mind for me, um, and I think. I would just say, don't just be dismissive of uh, Spencer Eldrin, uh, if I'm getting his name right. Don't just be dismissive of the things he's saying here, uh, because I think there is there there is something that needs to be addressed here. There's something that uh, this this suit there's a there's an issue that is raised by this suit that that may not be the you know, it may it, it, it may be uh, uh, related in a circumlocutious way to uh, to the suit itself, but I think it's still worth addressing, worth thinking about. So let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching. My name is Andy Nowicki. Check out my work at altrightnovelist.com. Please check out my latest book, The Insurrectionist. It can be found at terrorhousepress.com.